if you pass Gene Goss on his Deer Park Street, hey guys, you'll probably get a smile or a wave. I've been keeping myself content. <laughs> but as much as Gene loves this place, it's become somewhat of a prison. He hasn't left in 10 days. YouTube has been my best friend and then just a lot of cleaning. I also like to bake. It all started March 21st when Gene and his mom got in a car crash. The wheel was completely tucked under. It wrecked his van. Obviously our light being cracked. Specially fitted for his wheelchair. My van is my everything. It really does halt your life and just kind of you're stuck. Without accessible transportation, he's been stuck here waiting. I have not been able to work, so that has really put a damper in income. Praying a miracle brings a ticket out. It plays on your mental health in a sense. Gene thought he had coverage, but found out it expired before the crash, so he turned to strangers for help. I had never done a GoFundMe, and I went ahead and just took a chance and Put one up. That was just over a week ago. Since then, he's raised over 5,500 bucks. Now about 2,000 shy of his goal. I started seeing the donations come in and um, from people all over the community, workmates, friends, family, old schoolmates. I was completely shocked, really giving me some hope and getting me out of the little funk that I'm in. While the money is like clearly a, a blessing, the kindness has meant even more. Even if it, even if the donations weren't even close to a thousand dollars. I'm just still grateful of the fact that people take the time to read my bio and to read what's going on and just consider me.